Yo, yo, what is up? So in this tutorial, we're going to be adding some of our buttons. So after our uh, press any key thing, we're going to press the key. That goes away. And then our buttons come up. Uh, they don't do anything yet. We'll be uh, adding that. This is actually going to be quite a lot to do because uh, we've got we've got a lot of settings here. Because continue will, you know, if you have a save game, you'll continue. Load game, you can load games from uh, different slots that you've made. New game, and that'll be that'll send us to our character creator system. And this will go into your system settings where you can you know change all of that. And then information, uh, you can put whatever kind of information you want in there. And then quick game will just quick game. But yeah, for now we're just gonna be adding the buttons. Uh, we're gonna be adding a uh, font material as you can see it has changed. And um, yeah, we're gonna be adding this little scroll thing as well because that's how Elden Ring does it. And uh, yeah. Let's just hop into it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna hop over into our uh, main menu. Actually, let's go ahead and make a uh, let's go ahead and make a folder for our levels. So right click, make a new folder. We're gonna call this levels, and we will put our main menu in there. Just move it in there. Ooh, it won't let you. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. So in the future, we'll just leave that for now. But uh. In the future, we'll we'll make our levels in here. All right, so yeah, let's just open our uh, main menu. Yeah, don't move it in that folder. You can you can get some uh, some bad things to happen if you do that. All right, so what we're gonna do in here is we're gonna hop over into our blueprints widgets, main menu widgets, and we need to. Uh, we can just click on this press any key and we can just hide this guy for now. Then we can go up here into the search and we're going to look for a scroll. Scroll box right here. We're going to add this to the canvas panel. And then we're going to go up here. We're going to rename this to uh, um, game selection scroll box. Uh, box. And we're going to go here to is variable. We're going to check that. We're going to make it a variable. And then we're going to go to the anchors right here. We're going to anchor it to the bottom center. We can just press the back arrow on both of these. We'll go to the alignment. Set those to 0.5 and 0.5. And I'm going to change the size X to about 300. Um, and the size Y to about 3. Uh, we'll make it... 200 for now and we'll set the position y to about negative 250 yeah something like that um maybe negative 200 negative 200 yeah we'll do negative 200 we'll just compile and save then we're gonna go over here we're gonna look for a button and we're gonna put this button on our scroll box right here so put it right there and we're gonna call this our uh, continue game button and we're gonna uh, go over here search for a text and we're gonna throw a text on top of that button and then we're gonna rename this to continue game text and then we're gonna go and uh, change the font to whatever font you brought in I'm gonna choose this one and then we're gonna click on our button here and we're gonna scroll down and look for our background color or our style right here and we're gonna put the normal on the tent right here uh, open this little normal thing go to the tent go down to the alpha right here we're gonna set that to zero that way there's no you know you don't see that and then on our, uh, we can close that up. And on our hovered, we're going to add a, uh, a texture in here. I made a texture. Uh, do we have a textures folder? We do. Okay, so in our main menu folder, uh, I'm going to leave a link where you can grab this texture if you want it. Or you can, uh, you know, you can make your own if you would like. But uh, this is one that I made in GIMP real quickly. So... I'm going to bring that texture in, and then I'm going to set the uh, on hovered to this texture. 
Uh, and if we hop in and see, if you hover, it'll show that, it'll show that, uh, that, te uh, that texture behind it. Alright, so next thing we're going to do, uh, as you can see, all of this shows right now. So we're going to go to our uh, game selection scroll box. And we're going to scroll down and find the visibility right here. We're going to set this to hidden so that it doesn't automatically show. And what we're going to do here is uh, we need to change our text also. So let's uh, click on our text right there. And we're just going to uh, change the text to say continue. And we'll do that. And uh, real quick before we continue, let's go ahead and add some uh, add a font material. So that way we don't have to do it over and over. That way when we duplicate these buttons, it'll automatically just be there. So something cool you can do is with these texts, you can add. You see this option here, font material. We're going to add a font material. So we're going to make a new folder. So go to your content. Uh, make a new folder. We're going to call this materials. And we're going to open that up. And we're going to right click create a material. And we're just going to call this main menu underscore or main menu font underscore M. And then we're going to open that guy up. And we're going to click on a... Uh, this panel right here, this this node, and we're gonna scroll down to a uh, shading model. Uh, not that one. W which one is it? Oh, this one right here. Material domain. We're gonna switch this from surface to user interface, interface, like that, and then it changes to this. And then you can just bring in whatever texture you want. For now, I'm just gonna go into our mega scans and use the. Uh, the damaged concrete texture that uh, I used in the when we built the level, the same texture that's on these pillars back here, and I'm just gonna hook that guy up, hit apply and save, and then we're gonna hop back over into our main menu widgets, and we're gonna um we're gonna uh, go back to our materials right here. We're gonna add this material to our logo right here. And I'm gonna go down into, or actually gotta go up to the color and opacity here. I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna hit the magnifying glass uh, so that we kind of keep the same color palette going as whatever image you may have. So choose something that is in your image. I'm gonna find something right in there. Then I'm gonna go back into the, uh, the text here. And then I'm just going to scroll it up, bring the value up a little bit so it's not so dark. I'm going to bring the saturation down a bit as well. Like that. And then we're going to go onto our continue text here. And we're going to add that same material onto it. And then go back up to your uh, logo text and we're just going to copy this color and opacity. And then bring it down on this text and then paste that color and opacity on that color and opacity right there. We're going to compile and save. Now we're going to click on our continue game button and we're just going to duplicate this. It'll keep all the same settings there. And we're going to rename this to a load game button. And we're going to go down to the text and we're going to rename this to load game text. And then we're going to go to the text here and change it to say load game. We'll compile and save. And now we're just going to duplicate the load game button. So duplicate that. And we're going to rename this one to new, uh, new game button. Then we're going to go down to the text. Rename this to new game text. And then we're going to change the text to say new game and we'll compile and save now we're going to go to that we're going to duplicate that one and what was the next one i got some references from elden ring here so let me just find them uh the next one is system so we're going to rename this button to 
system uh, let me highlight that properly system settings button so we're going to go down to the text and rename this to system settings text and then we're just going to change the text to say system like that compile and save and now we're going to duplicate this and i think the next one is uh information let me check though yeah the next one is information and then the last one is quit game all right so we'll change this uh system settings or our the one we just duplicated we're going to change that button to say information button and then we're going to go down to the text and change that to say information text and we're going to change the text to say information and we will compile and save and then we're going to go on our information button we're going to duplicate that and we're going to rename that button to say quit game button or whoops spelled that wrong button then we're going to go down to the text and we're going to change that to say quit game text and we'll compile oh, actually we need to change this text here we'll change that to say quit game and we will compile and save and now we're going to go back up to our uh our uh, game selection scroll box and as you can see you can see the scroll on the side and if you play uh, that will show if you don't mind that showing then you know that's fine but if you want that to be hidden like I'm gonna do you go down to the scroll bar visibility and we're just gonna change that to hidden and we will compile and save and here let me also uh, something I forgot to do um, this isn't exactly centered because I forgot to step here. So we're going to have to go through all our buttons. And on the uh, horizontal and vertical alignment, we're going to center these. So click center on both of those. We're going to have to do that to all the buttons so that they are centered. And it looks like they still aren't completely centered. So let me see. Let me look at the uh, continue game button. Maybe we just add a little bit of padding on the uh, on the left side. So you can go down to to padding right here and add maybe like uh, twenty on the left and right. I might center it up a little bit better. Hmm. Hmm. Let me see. Maybe on the text. Oh, it might be the text padding actually. Uh, we'll put zero. Or no, we'll leave that one to have a little bit of padding. Uh, put zero on the padding on the text actually, not the button. So, yeah, we can just hit the back on that right there. And go to your text, actually. And we're going to put padding. Uh, zero padding on the left and right. And that will help it out a little bit. For all the text. Still not completely centered. And that's going to bug the hell out of me. Um, Let's see. Ah, it's the scroll bar padding. Okay, okay. So go to your game selection scroll box, and there's this uh, scroll bar padding. Just set that to zero, because it's shifting the whole thing over, because the, that scroll bar bar is there, but it's just not visible. So, yeah, that's all you need to do. You don't have to do any of that other stuff. Alright, so now, we should be good here. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the graph over here. And off of our any key right here, where we're hiding the any key text, we're going to bring in our game selection scroll box. We're going to get that, and then we're going to set visibility. Uh, this one right here. And we're going to set that to be visible when we hit a key. So now, when we hop in and press play, 
that will hide and then this will show we get all of this right here and if you want you can size this up a bit I think uh, I don't think that looks too bad though and as you can see we have that texture we added in the background and we can scroll and uh, yeah I think that's all we're gonna do for this one so if you like the video hit the like button if you're new around here definitely subscribe if you have any questions let me know those down in the comments and I'll see you in the next one peace out